Good morning, welcome to today's video. I try really hard not to ever comment about my appearance in videos, but I feel like I look like I'm still waking up or I just have the effects of the winter blues physically on my face by this point in the winter. I've just had the toughest January. I mean, just mentally. I know there are countless things to be grateful for. And I don't like to use my platform either to come on and like complain. It's just been really hard to stick to a good routine and get up early and feel the vitamin D sufficiency feelings when <sighs> I haven't seen the sun in months and it has been dark gray and gloomy for weeks. We haven't had a sunny day here in forever and I feel like a houseplant because I feel it so badly to the point where it is affecting me a lot. And usually I feel like I can catch myself early on in winter where this isn't a problem. Some years are harder than others and it's just really got me. Last night I was awake until 5 a.m. I didn't even mean to. I was just so hyper-focused in such a weird, manic, productive mood. I was like planning all this stuff in my YouTube journal and then I, my lights are on like a timer. So my lights started to turn off um, a hint that I need to go to bed. And I was like, oh my God, how is it this early already? I seriously debated at that point, I should just stay up, right? Like I wanted to have a productive day today, but I also knew if I did want to film today that I didn't want to film me sleep deprived. I feel like I already have the physical appearance of somebody that hasn't seen the sun in a few months and is feeling it and I haven't really left the house this week I've had a lot of laptop work so I've just been sitting in the dark getting things done a lot of screen time the point of today's vlog is to force myself to be better basically and force myself to do everything I've been putting off so that I can just get through this part and when days are dark and gray and gloomy like this the only thing really to do is to keep your mind distracted and keep busy there are a ton of things on my to-do list that I have been meaning to do that I haven't done for example, and this one just like kills Ashton to hear, but I am four months overdue on my oil change. I'm over a thousand miles over. <laughs> Every time we're in my car, Ashton is like, you gotta go, you gotta go. They're so expensive. And I just kept putting it off because I didn't want to pay the $90, but my car is disgusting from a Minnesota winter and I really need a car wash and they always wash my car during it. So I'm gonna go, I'll show you where I get my oil changed because low key, I really, really love it. They have the best waiting area. And during the summer, they have a rooftop patio. So I love going in the summer to this location because I'll just sit outside and read but they have a really cute lobby area with um arcade games and stuff like that on the second floor so i'm gonna sit up there and read fingers crossed they can take me it's like a walk-in basis depending on how busy they are but it's a weekday so i assume they can i also have a huge bag of clothes that i want to try to sell at clothes mentor today i've been putting that off so let's go try to sell some clothes and make some money and then spend that money immediately on an oil change and then i want to start making thrifting tiktoks it's one of the types of TikTok content that I consume the most and I really, really like. It's like window shopping. I get the same thrill that I get from thrifting when I watch other people's thrift with me vlogs. So I regret not doing it all of the times that I've gone thrifting, but I'm gonna go to one of my favorite thrift, st thrift stores today and then also try to make a TikTok there. Follow me on TikTok. I'm really motivated right now to try to build that platform. So if everything goes well, then after the oil change, let's go to one of my favorite thrift stores and see what they have. Also try to make some TikToks out of it. And then there's a lot of stuff around the house. I'm filming another video tomorrow. So there's a few packages that I need to prep for the content in that video I'll, sh I'll show you and I have a handful of letters that I would like to write and send out as well if we're gonna make it to clothes mentor with hopefully a sale and then get an oil change I gotta head out right now <music> I made it to Clothes Mentor and I have a huge Madewell bag full of higher end clothing items. So hopefully they'll take some. My tactic is always try Clothes Mentor first because nicer quality things, better brands, more money. And then anything they don't take, I take right next door to Play-Doh's and hopefully Play-Doh's will take it. But let's go see if I can make some cash. I'll drop this off and then get going. 
that was super easy. I just dropped off my clothing at Clothes Mentor. That has been on my to-do list for months. It felt so good. Hopefully they take like at least something to help so that I don't feel like I'm spending $90 total at this oil change. But I'm gonna go get my oil changed now. I just brought a book. It usually goes pretty fast, like less than an hour, but I just don't know how busy they are. So I'm still reading The Hunger Games. I'm halfway through Mockingjay right now. So I'll get a lot of this read when I'm there. I love that this purse fits a book. Not only does this purse fit my hardcover book, it also fits my large wallet. Oh my God, why do I have cash in there? Hello? Gloves, cause it's winter. Advil. This is like a what's in my purse video. And then I also have hand sanitizer, but it's at the bottom. This is like a Mary Poppins bag. But I love that this Teddy Blake purse fits a book because it has been so convenient when I go places just in case I need it. Even if it's just to Ashton's for the night, I can put my book in here and it still like fits. Teddy Blake actually sent me this purse a couple months ago. I had it in my crystal shopping video because I was looking for a bag this size and it has held up so well. I love that there is a zipper on the back for easy, like accessible things. I love this little lock. And then I, again, love that I can fit a book in here, my full wallet. I don't think I mentioned this, but this is also a Teddy Blake wallet and I really, really love it. I love the red, lots of space in here. So if you're looking for a new handbag, I definitely recommend giving Teddy Blake's products a try. They're actually having a huge Valentine's Day sale right now. So I believe they have discounts up to 70% off, which is unbelievable. So I'm gonna link all the info down below and Teddy Blake is actually sponsoring this portion of today's vlog So thank you Teddy Blake. Thank you for the wonderful bags. I seriously use her every single day She's held up amazing. Teddy Blake products are all about giving you the quality of designer products without the cost And they seriously held up to that. I love her so much. The quality of this is unbelievable If you've been watching my content for a while, you know that I love my Teddy Blake bags I've been using them for four years now I've got three bags and a wallet and I wouldn't recommend anything else. So definitely go check out their sale I've worked with them a couple of times and not only are they a great company to work with But they are a great company to support and definitely something that I stand by So I'm always looking for products that withhold fast fashion trends and can kind of stick around for a long time for a more like staple minimal statement closet piece and this this is definitely one i'm gonna link this specific bag down below i love it because it's got these little nubs on the bottom i love the strap zipper the lock it also has an inside zipper the biggest takeaway from this bag for me is that it fits pretty much any book that i've read so far as well as my wallet so thank you teddy blake for sponsoring a portion of today's video definitely check out this bag down below all of their products and take advantage of that valentine's day sale treat yourself or if you have a partner that would like a new bag definitely go check it out now is the time to take advantage of that sale. I need to put that cash that was just randomly in my purse away, but there's no other purse or handbag company that I would recommend more than Teddy Blake. And it's the only one that I use and have used since I think 2020. I get questions a lot about this bag and it's always the best to recommend and get to talk about Teddy Blake. So definitely give them a shot. Someone's coming right next. So I'm gonna grab this cause I'm getting nervous. I'm still in the clothes mentor parking lot and I don't want them seeing me vlog, but me and my Teddy Blake bag are heading to first get food and then we're gonna get an oil change. that my oil change place has a little public library. So I'm gonna go see if there's a good book in there. I go in for a $90 oil change and I leave with $2,000 worth of things I need to fix which I saw coming. This isn't like my oil change place trying to take advantage of me. My tires are so bad, so I knew that I needed to get them replaced for almost a year. Like, I slip so much in this car. My brakes are almost just not functioning at all, so I knew that was terrible. I go in there and he literally was like, I don't want you driving in that car. He was like, I would get it fixed today if you could, but we scheduled it in a few weeks, because $2,000, it's gonna be $2,000 more in debt. I'm trying so hard to get out of debt this year and January hit me like a ton of bricks and I've been putting off this oil change, the $90 I needed to put somewhere else and now to know that I, 
This is why I don't want to leave my house because now I owe $2,000 just to get my car fixed. My mom said that I should just buy a new car, which is like so expensive, but like sell this car, use the difference to pay off my car loan, and then buy a new car. That sounds, not a new car, but you know, like a new used car that doesn't need to be fixed. That sounds so expensive too. I need four new tires. I need new brake pads and rotors. Oh, and I have a leak in my engine. <laughs> I wish I just didn't need a car. I'm so grateful for my car, but they're so expensive and I don't leave my house enough. I could get away with it. The only one that would be upset really is Ashton because then I wouldn't be able to like drive to his place and it would just be difficult, you know, having a partner that doesn't have a car. I get it. Okay, someone parked next to me. Well, I'm gonna go redeem the car wash code that I got. At least I'm getting a free car wash out of it. Just in the car wash trying to feel something. I just went to Clothes Mentor. They bought one thing and it was a free people bra, but I made four bucks, so there's that. Thank you, universe. <laughs> What's funny is I tried selling them that free people bralette over the summer and they didn't take it. So I always give it a few tries before I donate because sometimes it is just trial and error. Like that happens all the time when I try to sell clothes at Play-Dohs is they might not take something and then I'll bring it back and they will. So I always try a few times, but at least now I have a full bag of stuff that I'm sure Play-Dohs will take because that's all like Madewell, J. Crew, Express. I've got a couple of nicer dresses in there too, so maybe I'll get lucky, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Anyway, let's go try to make a TikTok at a thrift store. I really wanna grow my TikTok. It's another form of income, so let's go try to get lucky at the thrift store and see if I can make a viral TikTok, basically. I made it to the thrift store. This is one of my favorites, and they always hit, so hopefully I find some goodies. Even if it's just to film and put back, I'm trying to be super consistent and build a niche on TikTok. Remember that one lady that just casually came across Picasso ceramic plates at her thrift store and made thousands of dollars off of them. That's the energy I'm going in with today. So let's see if we find anything good. I'm probably just going to document it though on my phone for the short form content and I'll check in with you after. Let's go see what my favorite thrift store has today. I always find the best things here. I just got out of the thrift store and I either just had a genius, brilliant idea or I'm digging myself into more debt. I think I thought of something brilliant that might bring in a stream of income that I am super passionate about and would have so much fun doing. Please don't make fun of me when I say this, but I think I wanna open an online antique store. I mean, at least like try it out through Etsy or like my own something type of website. I know a lot of people that do this like either through TikTok or around the area. Like I know it's very common when I go to antique stores for different sellers to have their own booth. Why can't I have a booth? I feel like I have a very good eye and I always find good deals. And I know that I'm really good at telling if something is upcharged overpriced for the value of like an old antique and at this thrift store, but I don't wanna become poachy and like take something and then upcharge it because obviously that's what sellers do but I have to show you what I found today because I feel like whenever I go antiquing with Ashton I'm always on Google like image, ser image searching and realizing that something is either valued so much more than the price that I found it for. Is that a good idea? It feels slimy out loud but that's literally what sellers do. I don't know, I found really cute hand dipped, hand painted Italian ceramics. I got like a set. I found the book one of us is lying for um, $2, so hopefully this is good. And then I found a little 1933 gold spoon that I thought would be a good listing. I'll just try it out because there are always things that I see that I know are a good deal or that I wish I could have, but I just either own it already, have too many, or just don't need it in my house. Like there's a lot of good antiques that I personally won't keep, but wish I could like show other people. So why not open like a little Etsy or I don't know. I don't know how to do, I don't know like what shipping is like. I wish I could just do like a little, maybe in the summer. Could you imagine me in the summer with like a little booth? at an art fair. This happens though where I get really, really big ideas and then they don't always go completely into fruition, but I've got to try. And this is something that I'm good at, I'm passionate about, and it would be fun. Okay, let's go home and continue this vlog though. I'll give you a full haul when we get home. There is approximately 30 minutes left of daylight. So we are in the sunroom. 
trying to film before it's completely gone. I'll do a quick haul of what I got thrifting today. I wasn't planning on getting anything, but whenever I see something that I believe is valued so much more than what it's priced at, I cannot pass it up. And then when I was holding this piece, this is what sparked the idea of, oh my God, why don't I just open my own shop? Not with the point of upselling. Yes, the point is to make money, but also it's just like, I found something that is such a steal that I wish I could keep, but don't really have a place, purpose, or use for. So I want to like have this own collective of my favorite antiques that I found to share with people that also might have similar taste. I hope that makes sense, but I'm really excited about this and I know a lot of other people do this, so I'm gonna do a ton of research. I hate being that person that always says like, oh, I'm gonna publish a book this year or I'm gonna start a scrunchie making Etsy account because remember that era? I just have all these big ideas and I feel like I need to try them all because I never know which one will stick. Hey, if one out of a thousand things that I do doesn't fail, that is success to me. So. The worst that I can do is be in the exact same place that I'm in now, but the best thing that could happen is this could lead to something, you know? So that's why I'm always so excited and wanna try it, especially when it's something like this where I'm so passionate about it. I have so many goodies and I always wanna share things that I find antiquing. What a great outlet. I was just thinking about how I could have an Instagram account that shows everything that could link, I don't know. Anyway, let me show you what I got. I found this beautiful little set of handcrafted, hand dipped Italian ceramic teacups with a little tray. Look at this. Little faces. Oh, hang on. It's supposed to go like this, I think. Little hand painted. And they're not perfect circles. They've got little dips in them. And then they came with this beautiful also hand dipped tray on the back. I've Googled this. So I know this is in Italy. I know this means hand dipped in Italian. And this is the clay, I think. I'm gonna list it because there's no point in me holding on to this, but wouldn't this make a beautiful jewelry tray or just a little tray in general? I mean, it's a set, so everything needs to sell together. This might be my first listing, but I found that. Couldn't pass up. The one other thing that I could not pass up when I saw is this gold 1933 Century of Progress Chicago gold spoon. I love old sentimental things. Look at that. This is almost 100 years old and it was a really big deal. I'm gonna do some research on it. And regardless, this is cool. Like I love old valued things and somebody held on to this for a long time. So I also got that to add to my non-existent antique store. I'm gonna brainstorm names. I don't know, I don't know. By the time this comes out, maybe I'll have things more solidified, but right now that is my hyper fixation. And then a lot of booktubers that I keep up with have read One of Us Is Lying. I saw this as well for $2. Might as well try it. I did see a lot of really cute things, but that is going to be over on my TikTok video, so be sure to follow me on TikTok. But, Speaking of TikTok, I think I've got a lot of packages from the TikTok shop to sample. So I don't know if everybody is eligible to do this, but the TikTok shop sends out samples and all you have to do is make a TikTok reviewing them which you can also make commission based as well so that you can earn more. So I think that's what this is, but let's open it and see. Okay, we're gonna do a huge TikTok shop unboxing. I didn't order any of this, so I have no idea what's in here, but I'm sure you'll see it on my TikTok very soon. This is like stuffed. I'm really grateful. Okay, the first thing that I got sent to me, okay, I feel like the universe always listens because I was saying even in earlier in this video how I want to really up my TikTok game and grow that platform. So the fact that I'm able to do that and get sent all of these things, the first thing that I see here is a light to put on my phone. I'm sure we've all seen those videos on TikToks, but I've always been curious, so... It's too much work to try to open it right now, but I have a light to put on my phone. That's going to be so helpful. I got a little portable vacuum cleaner for my car. This is really nice. I mean, my car that needs over $2,000 worth of maintenance on it. I'm not paying for a detail, so I might as well detail it myself. Oh, look at that. This I'm really excited to try. It is a UFO phantom surround lamp. It kind of looks like a mushroom to me. Doesn't this look like a mushroom? A little nightlight lamp. I hope it's not damaged in there. Let's just open this one right now because it's falling apart. Oh no, she's fine. And honestly, that's a good size little light. So I'm excited to set that up. Oh my God. 
Oh, I have been wanting wireless over the ear headphones for so long, but I just am not in a position to buy myself like expensive things and I would rather, you know, pay off debt. So I've heard good things about these on the TikTok shop. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna open these right now. Oh, oh, whoa, they are soundproof. Wow, I'm gonna go work at a communal workspace tomorrow and I'm vlogging a productive vlog about that tomorrow. I can bring these now and use them. Oh my God, I can also start going to the gym. I don't go to the gym, but Ashton has a gym at his apartment. Sometimes I use it, I really should use it more, but I can bring these now. That is crazy. I don't know what this one is, but it's making noise and it's been stomped on. So let's see. <gasps> Not to be somebody that falls into trends because I probably wouldn't voluntarily buy this, but I mean, I'll take one. This can go in my um, car that severely needs fixed. I hope I get some commission off of TikTok for posting these because I need to pay that car bill. Wow, I'm kind of in shock that TikTok shop just will be like, here, yeah, take it. I didn't think that was gonna work. I was kind of skeptical until they showed up at my doorstep. And I don't know if you have to be in the creator program to do that or what, like I just went to the TikTok shop and said, request samples and then it worked. I also got some clothing pieces. TikTok sent me, oh, she's cute. I was actually looking for green sweaters today at the thrift store. I didn't see any that I liked enough, but I've got this oversized green Oh my God, hang on. Hold up. I really love the color green. I love her. I got the viral blue and white pajama set that everybody has that I keep seeing. They are super cute. Little shorts, super cute. Oh, yes. We got some basic tanks. This is like my uniform. All I wear, as you know, are just little basic tanks. So we've got this little tan I got a black and then this dark green one I mean these basics usually always fit well I was not expecting all of that but I am so grateful and kind of just blown away so the thing with getting samples is you have to make a video featuring them the cats like within two weeks of receiving them so I'm gonna plan some TikToks and hopefully film a lot of what is required but this is a really cool opportunity thank you so much to the sellers that sent me samples and then I'm pretty sure Hopefully it's as accessible as I found it because I don't know if you need like a certain amount of followers, but definitely look into samples on TikTok. Um, I'm filming a video tomorrow that features the brand Halara. It's not sponsored, but they have a lot of requirements. I'm okay with it though, because they offered me a ton of clothing in exchange for it and they seemed really cooperative and just like a decent brand to work with. So I'm trying to organize and plan tomorrow's video. I think instead of unboxing all of their clothes tomorrow, I'm gonna just wear one and then have the other ones ready to show. So this is the package of clothes that Halara sent. I don't know what's in here because they just sent like their new releases that they want me to promote. So I think I'm gonna go through these and plan and figure out if I can wear an outfit tomorrow and kind of just get a feeling of what I'm working with. Then I'm gonna edit the TikTok that I filmed today at the thrift store. I've got some work on the back end today of like editing emails and filming another different video with a brand. So I'm gonna get some work done and check in with this vlog later this evening. going through all of the clothing from Halara to see like what fits and what doesn't so that I can figure out what works tomorrow in tomorrow's video. But I'm also trying on the tank tops from the TikTok shop and oh my God, this is my genuine review, but I just love when the tanks fit so well around your body and these fit me super, super nice. They're so comfy. And you know, I do love a tight little like visible Rachel Green in the 90s on Friends type of tank top if you know what I mean. And this works really well. It's so cute. I just had to include it in the vlog because I really, really like it. What are you up to? She came sprinting in here. I don't know if you can link TikTok clothing items on a YouTube video, but regardless, they'll be on my TikTok. 
You look like you're up to trouble. Yeah, what do you, don't hunt her back here. Actually, I don't trust you. Can you move? Hey, did you leave, okay. Did you leave me this mousey last night? Is this from you? Somebody want the mouse? Oh, that was me and it went behind the door. But yeah, I love it. And she's got the mouse. Also, I've been making a ton of book TikToks. I just have piles of books everywhere, but I love it. This is like all that I've ever wanted growing up. This was like my dream, so I'm glad that I finally have it. How bad my sleep schedule is and why I debated staying up all night the other night to try to fix it. It's almost three. I don't have a single ounce of melatonin in me. I don't feel tired at all. I'm wearing the new PJs that TikTok sent tonight and honestly they're so cute and cozy. I also wore the headphones a lot tonight when I was getting stuff done and I really really like them. So I need to make TikToks featuring them soon so then you can browse them if you want, no pressure. But I just got a ton of work done tonight and I am still actually gonna do, oh camera is on the notebook but I've got my YouTube notebook down there. I need to like prep tomorrow's video. I'm in such a weird mood. I just made a whole TikTok on something that happened earlier tonight and TikTok deleted the last clip so it's completely gone. But I went down a rabbit hole tonight and ended up watching all of my old TikToks like since the beginning. I feel like I've lived so many lives on that app but it put me in such a weird mood because looking back, I can truly see the difference in me today versus back then and I don't think I realized like how much light has gone out in me like it's hard because she, my younger 20s self in those tiktoks she looks so naive and so happy and i didn't really notice that i no longer feel that way until i saw the complete comparison side by side and it's hard because i'm obviously really grateful where i am today and i wouldn't change it but it's weird physically being able to see the difference and that younger version of me had no idea how happy she was because I was just living life like I wasn't thinking this is the happiest I ever feel I'm so like normal and like whatever I don't know but looking back I'm like oh my god she had it so good like I wasn't dealing with seasonal depression as much as I do today and as wonderful as that time in my life was when I was buying this house which that itself I'm so grateful for that era marks such a weird pinpoint in my life of being such a happy time but also dealing with losing my childhood home which still I it like that was home like stability for me like so saying goodbye to that having family stuff that summer going through a breakup like relationship stuff losing a friend and like I was just going through a lot and then it just feels like that was before and this is today and looking back on the before before everything happened like loss and family stuff and relationship breakups like trauma PTSD a concussion which I think had a longer impact on my mental health than I realized. COVID, I had COVID like twice in 2021. There's so many studies on how your mental health is affected if you've had COVID and near death experience, trauma, like I'm sure I'm forgetting so many things, but all of that happened after. And now I feel like I'm living with the side effects of life. I recently saw a TikTok about somebody that said like things just happen later on in your life that you just have to live with that suck you know like death and stuff and i feel it like i think i'm just thinking about her a lot because i'm trying to figure out how she was so happy and how to get that way again her as in like my younger self because i'll see like i'll just remember my old routines or see those old tiktoks and be like girl how the f were you doing it i don't know i'm probably not making any sense and i probably should not be watching old videos of myself at two in the morning but it made me really sad because she had no idea how like naive and happy she was 
It reminded me of like the Fool card in Tarot because the Fool doesn't really realize he's the Fool. He's just like happy to be there and starting out on his journey. And that was my like Fool era. And now knowing everything I know today, like obviously I am very grateful and I love my life, but I'll never be 24 in that apartment again. And I'll never be 25 doing everything I was doing at 25 or God, I don't, I don't know. Life just gets complicated. And I feel like I don't say I love being 28 as much as I really should because when I was in my apartment, I used to say that all the time when I was doing something that I loved and I was just a happier person and I don't know how to find her again and I don't know if I could ever can be her again. Anyway, thanks for watching this vlog with me today and coming along. <laughs> How do I transition that? I'm really glad that I did vlog today though because that did help my mood and it kept me busy and productive and got me out of the house. And thank you to Teddy Blake for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Don't forget to check out their purses and enjoy their Valentine's Day sale. 70% off is such a great deal. There's a car in my street and it's three in the morning. I live in a quiet neighborhood so I notice stuff like that now. I didn't when I lived in my apartment. Do you ever feel like you th have too much time to think? I think I'm going to try selling antiques online. I've already thought of the name. I'm gonna start on Etsy because it's just easy to use and I already have an Etsy shop. And this is just the trial stage, so I don't wanna like fully commit in case it doesn't take off. I think I'm gonna go back to the thrift store that I was at today and see if they still have some items that I didn't end up buying and buy them. I'm giving myself a really small like startup budget. And then if it doesn't take off, that's it. Small loss, nothing more, but I wanna call it moonlit treasures i think that's very me so that etsy handle is taken but i'll find a way to make that work so moonlit treasures go buy my antiques thanks for watching today's vlog i need to get up in a couple of hours like five hours to start filming tomorrow's vlog that video might come out before this one it's the productive vlog featuring halara because i'm working with them so i need to get that filmed okay i'm gonna go overthink my feelings again and i'll see you in my next video good night